John Hyatt. I'm an obstetrician and gynaecologist and I work as a maternal fetal medicine specialist here in Sydney. I work at Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Camperdown. Uh, I'm also a clinical professor um, for the ONG department of the University of Sydney. So RPA has quite a big um, public obstetric um, group. Um, we deliver about 5,000 babies a year uh, in total. We also have tertiary responsibility for one or two surrounding hospitals um, and actually do some work uh, interstate and also uh, through the Pacific as well. Um, from a maternal fetal medicine perspective, we like to screen uh, our own local population for a variety of things during pregnancy and then we also get referred um, cases where there are some complications in pregnancy. Most of the work that we do in respect of screening, um, it pretty much relies on a good 2D grayscale image. Um, the two scans that we predominantly do are at 12 and at 20 weeks. Um, we found that the um, quality of imaging in grayscale um, is, I think, far superior to a, a product we've looked at previously. Um, and that really, I think, makes our job a lot easier. So in the context of either the 12 or the 20 week scan, it means that we perhaps have to spend less time struggling uh, as individual operators to get the set of uh, images that we need. We also find that the actual image quality uh, is a little different um, with the I-800. Uh, so for example, um, bony structures are, um, are more readily resolved. And um, when we look in the first trimester, uh, at structures like the nasal bone, which is used to screen for Down syndrome, we find it much easier to see that structure uh, using this system. And also the penetration that we get um, with the imaging and the uh, increased focal length that you have on an image, uh, we find helps, um, means that you get better depth of resolution. And, and we find that, for example, when we're looking at the first trimester fetus, it's easy to look both at the the facial characteristics and, and also at the posterior fossa and, and other brain structures uh, at the same time. The main issue with someone who has a slightly higher BMI is also uh, the, the penetration of, of the image. And, and again, I think the, the way the system um, is set up um, means that you have this um, bigger depth of field really in terms of uh, focal length which means that the resolution of the image is uh, sharper and particularly the lateral resolution of the image is, is sharper so um, I think we've very much enjoyed being able to um, use the system for, for slightly uh, larger patients and uh, still be able to get uh, high quality uh, imaging. I think that that's certainly the case. I mean, our, the standards of imaging have changed dramatically over the last 20 or 30 years. The structures that we can see and the definition that we see in structures has changed quite markedly uh, over that time. And I think the I-800 is another um, part of that process of evolution. It's another level of evolution, if you like. Um, so, for example, we find with the 2D grayscale imaging um, that we're able to see the detail of structures like the heart. Um, I, I think in a, uh, just with more clarity than we've previously able, been able to see them and that just makes it much easier um, to, I think, visualize all the structures that we need to uh, look at during a routine exam. We also find the changes with things like the color dot Doppler with the uh, SMI system. Um, that's been very useful as well for delineating uh, different vessels and we find now there are some structures that we're looking at that actually we haven't been able to resolve clearly before uh, and we're sort of left wondering um, is this really normal and we now actually need to get our own experience about how to uh, examine these structures in more detail. So I guess our main challenge at the moment is making sure that we can um, offer a high quality screening uh, process to all of our patients. Um, if we're screening um, four to five thousand pregnant women a year, um, that's a, a lot of women to see every day. And actually, 
um, in terms of ergonomics, um, it's really important to us that we have equipment that we can use very easily, um, that um, staff are able to use without um, it being uh, difficult uh, for them or um, stressful for them. Um, and uh, if we have a process of imaging that uh, improves clarity and shorters an examination by a few minutes, then actually that makes a big difference to us when we're scanning tens of patients a day.